Hello everyone, Matthew Watkins back again with another video and time for another round of wrestling predictions. This time we're going to war games as it's NXT TakeOver War Games once again from the Capital Wrestling Centre. This one's even more special because it's even being classed almost as a pay-per-view as to my knowledge, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, as well as being available on the network, some cable providers have also put it on as pay-per-view, which is probably a good thing for NXT. Either way, I don't think there's much to be said. Let's get on with those predictions then, shall we? Start with, well, how about Timothy Thatcher versus Tommaso Ciampa? Obviously, Thatcher's been doing his training school on NXT the past several weeks, and obviously, Ciampa's not very happy about it. Uh, I'm, for this, I'm really going to just go with Ciampa. I'm just going to go with Ciampa. Let's get on with it. On to the next one, please. And the next one we do, as obviously this rivalry has been going on for quite some time, including a very funny moment, I should say, at Halloween Havoc. A few weeks ago, it's Dexter Loomis versus Cameron Grimes. And I'll be honest, I'm going to go with Te Dexter Loomis. I'm not too sure on Cameron Grimes. I think he's, I mean, some bits it's funny, but other bits I'm just like, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of Cameron Grimes. Uh, I, I don't find him very entertaining at all. So as a result, I'm going to go with Dexter Loomis on this one. Right, so now let's go to the War Games matches. I think it's ladies first. I'm not sure really how the order's going to be, whether one's going to be first like always last year, like this women's one. And because that is Team Shotzi, where we've got Shotzi Blackheart, Ember Moon, Rhea Ripley and Io Shirai against Team Candice, where you've got Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez and the recently turned Tony Storm, believe it or not. I wanna go, I'm going to go with Team Shotzi. I'm thinking in storyline terms, it might give uh, Candice LeRae her comeuppance for running over Shotzi's tank a few weeks back on NXT. So because of that, yes, I'm going to go with Team Shotzi on this one. Right, moving on to what I think might be the main event. We don't know. It's the other War Games match, the men's War Games match. It's the battle of two factions. You've got the Undisputed Era, which is obviously Carl O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, Bobby Fish, and Adam Cole, baby! Yes, obviously the faction that have run NXT for the last few years. Against the faction that's just trying to make themselves known pretty much. You've got Pete the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, who's 10 deal, Danny Betch, and Only Larkin, and you've got former Colts punter Pat McAfee. I was wrong, obviously, with him at TakeOver 30. Because of that, it's really hard to tip. I'm still going to go with the Undisputed Era. I'm still not struck on this new uh, faction. Obviously, it's time to grow, but I think, yeah, I feel better going with the Undisputed Era on this one. Well, that is my predictions for NXT TakeOver War Games 2020. What do you think of my predictions? And let me know your predictions for the event down in the comments section below. That is going to be it for the video. So if, if you have enjoyed this video, feel free to drop it a thumbs up. If you are brand new to the channel, you like what you see here, you want some more, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you know whenever the hell I post next. Be sure to tell your friends how much of a great YouTuber I am and to follow me on Twitter at Hawkins and Scott Matt US and on Instagram at Big Matt Hawk 18. But as always though, remember, you need some cheer, have no fear, Big Matt Hawk is here!